We have a swarm of the earthquakes in the Canary Islands where we had the eruption of the Cambrai Vieja volcano, the exact location, in 2021. A swarm of the earthquake is rising from the depth of the 14 to 7 kilometers. Practically, these are the earthquakes which make the way, open the way, for the magma to rise. This is a magma forming at the mantle uh, or above it in the lower crust and then rising to the uh, shallow reservoir at the depth of the six, seven kilometers. And from there, uh, it can erupt uh, in coming months or years. Uh, this is the scenario which happened previously in 2021 when we saw in this hill, previously uh, unexpected uh, by the people, we had an eruption. Of course, the surface was renewed. You could see that the geologists will see that the surface is new, no vegetation grown on that. So that means the area is quite young before the last eruption happened. But in the living memory, people probably didn't care about that. Uh, the eruption burned the nearby forest and before long, ended up in an inferno, burning all the area around it. The villages and the towns were evacuated. It engulfed the whole hillside area of that region in the Canary Islands. This is the uh, eruption related to the hot spot mantle plumes rising from the uh, earth as a uh, core mantle boundary and touching like a torch the earth crust and making a hole practically into it and melting it and creating these eruptions we see. It's like a torch of a welding as oxyacetylene or any other torch that actually can go through the uh, metals. This is also similar to that. The eruption resulted in lava flows extending all the way downhill Toward the ocean, this is off the coast of Africa, this Canary Island mantle plume, as uh, I showed you on the map. The huge rafts of the lava, lava boats we call them, were visible here. One of the biggest ones we have ever seen in any eruption, which is filmed in our time. You know, may have existed in the past, may not be witnessed or may not be recorded. But this one is recorded. We have it on the, you know... Uh, on the film, on the imaging uh, equipments. And this is how it happened. We see the huge rafts, huge boats of the solidified lava from previous eruptions, or even from this one, that the uh, banks of this lava flow, then again being eroded away, worn out, and carried downhill, like a huge boat practically. You see, this is like an iceberg, most of it is inside the molten lava, and some part of it, like an iceberg, is out. When it rises, you can see the huge size of it. When it goes into shallow part, trying to pass through the gaps, and then falling back again to the uh, um, lava pool, you can see. Also, it burned the road. The metal guards of the road was nothing for it, just melted down and moved toward the ocean as it was uh, visible in these images that you could see in that year. A similar scenario may happen again when it reached the ocean. We had this uh, huge apocalyptic view, and I mentioned <laughs> any moment you expected like a Jurassic Park or the Jurassic Age period on the Earth history. We end up with something like a... <laughs> like a dinosaur any moment, or uh, King Kong. Of course, they're not contemporary together. They cannot be in the same time. But anyway, this is imaginary thing. The model that we created showed the spread and the addition of the lava to the island, creating a headland. They get eroded gradually, but the aftermath of it was really uh, enormous for the people to clear out. At the same time, the eruption was continuing. We had huge damage to the buildings and properties. Ancient churches collapsed. These are the 300, 400 years, 500 years, some of them. All the buildings collapsing. The houses were burnt. 
We couldn't do anything to stop it practically. We had to evacuate before the fierce force of forces of nature. And you could see the effect of it from the space in the form of these huge dust clouds rising to the sky. A storm of the earthquakes of 500 earthquakes shows that a new eruption is underway.